Uh, good afternoon to you all. Uh, this is Sunil representing Ericsson uh, Gaia, which is a global AI accelerator unit for us. So as most of you know, we are the telecommunication infrastructure company. So mostly at the back end, whatever you are using the operators, right, whether it's a Geo or uh, Airtel or Vodafone. So we are not into the B2C space, but what we see is in the B2B space. And uh, what we are going to Speaker talk in the next uh, five minutes to excite you what kind of problems we are talking about in the AIML space where Python is a backbone for us. Just like we are talking about, we are backbone for the operators, so Python is backbone for us when we are building the AI and ML solutions. So what we are representing here, we are building a team of 300 data scientists uh, globally, even we have presence in Chennai and uh, Bangalore in India and in Silicon Valley and even in our headquarters, Sweden. So what is our main uh, charter for us is how do you accelerate the execution of the strategy using the AI? We are using a lot of, uh, maybe a lot of hype is there but uh, on the AI, but when we see the real world applications, what I will walk you through in the interest of time, maybe for five minutes, but we do have our booth uh, G8. For more detailed discussions, I'll encourage you to come there. And we are trying to build a critical mass of the competence and we are trying to innovate in the space through automation, evaluation, and growth. So we want to change the portfolio of the Ericsson. This is what you, we call it as the AI brain. So what we are talking about, the interesting point here is, as you see, maybe there are different layers, both from the product side and the service side. What we mean by the product side is, as you see, we are providing the infrastructure of radio, IP, core. At each stage, it's not just only at an application level, do a, some kind of a recommendation or do a prediction, but we are talking about the interesting problems to solve at each level and that too at scale. Even if you take example of Chennai, we, we can easily guess we have one lakhs particular towers, whatever we see, okay, so from different operators. And when at the end of the day, we are talking about terabytes of data with us, which may be structured. That is one way of looking at. And then other, other side, if you see, we do have a lot of towers and cells uh, which you see physically. There, how do you ensure the quality of service? So whenever you are making call, you are making sure that, okay, you are trusting the network and it is, you are able to talk with the uh, agreed quality of service. So to do that, we have continuous uh, measurement of the activities right at the radio level and at the core level and network planning level, now even with the IoT. So whatever we are seeing the 2G, 3G and even 5G is coming up. So that is one part of the story. Second thing is how you are managing the services. So one is just from the infrastructure planning and the network planning level, where we are talking about a lot of automation and optimization we are trying to do. At the same time, if I go for a specific example, let's say I want to predict, okay, maybe a lot of cloud is here and then what kind of quality of service we can promise and what kind of pre predictive actions we can take when we have the information, right? It may be configuration changes or it may be having the specific parameters which are uh, maybe root causes for that. All this we are trying to do uh, with the Python being the backend. If I walk you through specific use case, for instance, we are talking about the structured data one side and even the uh, other side we are talking. We have a lot of infrastructure, how do you maintain it? It's not like a human task. These guys need to climb, if you talk about the field engineer, the tens of meters to see if, if the infrastructure is intact. But why can't we use the drone images? That is maybe a starting point for us. And a lot of visual intelligence applications, even though we are talking about a couple of applications here, but it's not limited to this one. If I take one example of weatherproofing, where we are doing a live demo of object detection uh, using Python, uh, which we built it. If you see, there is an exposed part, so which may be, because it's in the outside in the environment, so what we are talking here is how do you make sure that, okay, there are these kind of classes, whether it's a bending too much or maybe there are exposed components, which may affect us finally when we are making really a call or maybe our 4G data. So these are the interesting points which we are uh, talking about, uh, solving it in our real, real world. In the interest of time, we are not going too many details, but let me uh, take, it's not like we are consumers of the Python uh, or maybe the open source community, even we are con contributing back. We do have active volunteers who are contributing at a scikit-learn or Python packages. At the same time, you can visit github.com slash Ericsson. We do have more 80 plus resources, not some may be telecom domain. If you are coming from telecom, you can use it, but there are open source. For instance, if I can uh, quote one example, EVA, Ericsson Video Annotator. So that's one of the, that's built on Python. So you can uh, access those and give us the comments and we encourage you to visit our booth for more detailed applications. Thanks for the opportunity.